Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and I want to show you quickly how you can use Tmux to set up multiple processes and multiple window panes on your computer. So what I'm talking about here is I have a project where I have multiple services I need to run. So for instance, I have a pocket-based service here that I need to run by running pocket-based serve, and then I need to open another window here, and I'll just go to mail pit and, oops, mail pit ASD, and I need to run a mail pit server as well. So I run these two every time I set up a project as well as open up a code editor to edit my code. It'd be nice if I could just use one command to run both these things at the same time. So let me show you how you can set that up with Tmux. I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna go over here to my window and I'm gonna use a program here called Gmux. So this is a project that's very similar to Tmuxinator if you've heard of that in the past, but this one's written in Go, which is nice. So it just downloads as a simple binary. So I can install this program here and then I can basically set up configuration to run multiple panes and start processes at the same time by just running a command like gmux new in the name of my command. So I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna install gmux. It says here to do a go git, but the new command here would actually be, in the newer version of go would be go install. So I'm going to go install gmux. You can see here that it actually wants me to specify which version here so I can grab this latest. So I'm gonna copy this here and control shift C, control shift V, and we'll run that again. Okay, so we downloaded Gmux. Now, if I run Gmux, this probably is not going to work because I don't have Tmux installed. So it says, could not start the Tmux server. I'm gonna come back here, and I'm gonna to go to the instructions on installing Tmux. So this is the project page for Tmux here. I'm in the wiki, I'm in the installation instructions. And we can just install this with the apt package manager that ships with Ubuntu by default. So I can just do apt install Tmux come back here, I'll run that, and I need to run this as a super user, so I'm going to jump to the front of the line and write sudo, and I'll just enter my password for my computer, press Y for yes. Now Tmux is installed, okay. So if I come back here and I look at the instructions for Gmux, you see that I can basically create new commands like this. So if I start by creating a new command here, I can just write gmux new and then the name of my command, it will create a new file in my home directory. So there'll be a dot gmux folder and then there'll be the name of my command here. And it'll create a file like this. So let me just do gmux new and I'll call this one ASD. So it created this new folder dot gmux and this new file asd.json. I'm gonna copy this and I'm just going to NeoVim edit this. Great, now we have this information here. So where is this project located? So I know it's actually located in my projects ASD directory. Okay, so then I also wanna grab a root here, so I'm gonna copy this here and I'm going to put a new root here. So this is one of my windows and let's get this matched up. So this is gonna be projects ASD and we'll call this pocket base ASD. And we'll come here and we'll do dot pocket base serve. And I can get rid of this second command here and get rid of the comma. And we'll change this up here to just be pocket base. I'll come up here, I'll copy this and I'll paste it over these other panes here just to make this a little easier. And so this next pane, let's go over the comma here. This next pane here is going to be mail pit. And we'll change this to mail pit. We can just set this up as dot mail pit. Okay, and then we could even come here and we could add our code editor if we wanted as well. So let me add one more here. Let's add this at the top, call it Plenty, so this is our actual website. And I'll just change this to the root. And we'll just say that we don't need a layout, and this one will just be Codium dot. So now we'll just save that and see where that gets us. So I'll do a colon, WQ, 
right quit. And let me just click over my back scroll real quick. I'll do a GMUX ASD. Okay, so that opens up my editor over here. Great. Are these other processes running? Let's see. Okay, so let's do a GMUX list. So ASD, let's open up a new window and do a 80-90 and see if this is running. Okay, so pocket base is running. How do we actually observe that? And if we do a GMUX stop ASD, we come back here. So now this is no longer running. Okay, so it actually is running, but I'd love to be able to actually observe it in my um, screen here. Okay, so if you actually want to see what's happening in your project, you can come here and you can do a GMUX start your project. And you can see that opens my editor here. I actually have my service running in the background again. And if I come back here and I GMUX list, you can see that my ASD project is running and I can come here and I could GMUX ASD attach. If I do that, you can see now that I have my different processes running. So I have plenty in this window here. Basically that just opened the Codium editor. Then I have pocket base over here. So I can do control B one. I can switch to pocket base. You can see that that's running here. I can see any error logs or anything. If I was running that, I can do a control B two to switch to mail pit. And um, it actually looks like mail pit is not running. So we're in the wrong directory here. So you can notice that we're not actually in the, the project folder. So it looks like I screwed up the config there. Let me just exit out of these. Exit and I'll exit. And let me edit that configuration file again. So I want to make sure I'm in the right folder. So let's see projects, ASD, mail pit. Mail pit ASD, okay. That's incorrect here, so it's mail pit ASD. So now if I save this and I come back and I do this again. So I'll start my project and I'll come back here and I'll attach to it. And you can see here, pocket base is running and mail pit is running. Okay. So I might want this to continue running, but I might want to just detach from this again. So I can do control B D that detaches from a session. And then I can always come back and I can attach to it again and see it like this. So control B D detach um, or GMUX ASD attached to it. Another thing I might want to do is I'm going to go to my configuration here. So instead of having these all in different tabs here, like we are seeing, so if I, Take a look here, you know, we have to go control B1, control B2. Maybe we want to see both these processes in the same window. So let me control B D detach and let me just edit this file. Now I can come here and actually put this all into the same command. So I'm going to grab here and grab the mail pit command. I'm going to do this. And instead of defining a root separately here, I'm going to get rid of this. So we already have our root defined at the top here. And then I'm just going to make these relative from that root. So I'm going to do pocket base ASD serve. So we'll do dot and we'll put a comma at the end and then we'll do the same thing here. So we'll do the old path, which was mail pit ASD mail pit. And that should run both those commands so we can get rid of this old mail pit command. This should open them in vertical tabs. So we're specifying our layout here as main vertical. And we can just call this services. And yeah, that should work. So let me just save this. I'm going to gmux stop ASD. And then let me just start it up again. ASD. And then it opens up that. And let me just attach to it. OK. So now we have the services. If I do control B1, we go to services. Oh, okay. So it's way over here in this, this pane over here. So we have a couple issues. One is this actually wants to be in the file where it's run in order for this to run like this. So it can actually read the config file. 
So let's exit, exit. Oop, we gotta get out of here and exit. And we'll exit. And we'll exit. And let's come back and edit our file one more time. And maybe we want this to be horizontal instead of vertical, actually. Horizontal. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to just run CD into that folder. And then I'm going to and run the serve command. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to CD, change directories into the MailPit folder. And I'm going to run MailPit like that. And then hopefully this will open in a horizontal pane and run both those commands correctly. And let's save this and let's do the same thing. Let's do, let's stop our service. Okay, no service was running. I think I already stopped it. I'm going to run again and let's, let's come back here and attach to it. Okay, let's do control B1 to go here. Okay, so now we have pocket base is running correctly and mail pit is probably running down here, but the sizing is incorrect. It might be because I, I'm zoomed in here. Let me just come back here to a smaller screen size. So this is a little bit better. Let me just um, detach. So I'm gonna detach from it, attach again, and I can press whatever pane I wanna go to, zero. Um, control V1, Control V0, okay. So we're getting closer. Let me again, I'm gonna stop this. I'm going to try to start and attach at the same time. I guess it doesn't work like that. Okay, so I think I figured out how to set these panes equal. So if I come here and I just do Control B Alt 1, it should help fix this issue. So let me just attach to this again. And let's go over here. Control B Alt 1. Okay, so that set it equal vertical, but I could do Control B Alt 2 that's equal horizontal. Okay, so that actually works. It's a nice little tip there. And now every time that I control B D to detach and then reattach, it seems to be working exactly how I'd expect. And if I want to jump between these panes, I could do a control B up. Okay, so I do a control B down arrow to jump to the lower one, control B up arrow to jump to the top one. That's how you can jump between panes like this. So I could stop this and I could restart if I wanted to. Actually, the command would just be this though. Okay. And then finally, you know, this would work really well with something like Vim. So you could have your Vim editor right in this pane as well, instead of having it in a separate program like VS Codium. I guess the last thing I'll do here is let me just detach and let me stop this one more time. And we'll stop this and let me come here and just edit my file one more time. So I'm just gonna exit after I open up Codium here. So I'm gonna open up Codium and exit. So that will just exit out of the pane. So I can come here and let's start this again. So we'll start ASD. So you can see here that opens up my Codium. And if I come back here and I attach to this pane, you can see that we only have our services running here. I don't have to have my uh, old pane open there with just the Codium command. And I can, again, Control-B, Alt-2, oops, Control-B, Alt-2, just to make this equal distance if, if you want. There's probably a way you can set that in your tmux config. Um, I know in the past I've set up tmux config also so I can actually adjust the pane by, by grabbing this here. Um, uh, right now, this is not set up that way, but you can change your tmux config to do that. Looks like this has actually been rewritten, so let's come back here. Yeah, let's detach. Let's edit this again. This is actually supposed to be this. See now. Oh, I need to source this. And let's just stop this. Gmux. Stop. And let's run it again. Attach. Okay. No issues there. Okay. So now I can grab this with my mouse and I can move this around as I see fit. Hopefully this is enough for you to get started. So uh, if you have any other tips and tricks that you want to share with folks, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll definitely read them. 
and thanks for watching. We'll see you later.